Hello everyone and welcome now to game two in a series between Ted and F Ted Fly versus Yumiko and Samdan here on Goldshire. Ted spawning as the yellow undead player here at the nine o'clock position. Meanwhile, here at the six o'clock position, we do see Fly. They will be going up against Yumiko and Samdan. Yumiko spawning as the gray human player. Meanwhile, Samdan spawning as the purple human player. It looks as though we will be going into a speed building altar of kings. This altar of kings should um, complete momentarily alongside that farm there. And we are going to be going into a very fast archmage, surprisingly. Yumiko, on the other hand, deciding to build a much more traditional um, altar of kings. And I wonder what will come of that and what his long-term strategy will be, what his hero selection will be. All right. Altar of Storms, and now Altar of Darkness should be completed down in just a moment. Archmage already halfway out. Meanwhile, Altar of Kings of Yumiko is now completed, and it will be a Mountain King. He will be going up against a Farseer and most likely a Death Knight. Death Knight versus Farseer, as we are going into a Crypt, a Tomb, and it is a Double Tomb. So if you guys had wondered what had happened earlier in game one like I had, where he had two rods of necromancy, Ted was actually able to purchase two rods of necromancy, and then he, I believe he unsummoned one of the Tomb of Relics in order to place down more pressure. Archmage already coming in, and it looks as though it will be some fast, fast creeping. Here we are. Archmage now coming in, already taking a lot of damage. He needs to drop off another Water Elemental to soak up some of that damage as the No Warden got off a Purge onto that Water Elemental there, pretty much taking it out. New Water, Ele water Elemental has been left behind. No Overseer should be able to... Um, should get taken down here in just a moment as the militia are going to go in for a quick surround. Down it goes. Archmage now sitting at level 2 just as the Mountain King does appear. Perfect timing. Meanwhile, Samdan looks to be setting up or defending a possible expansion attempt. Archmage is here. Mountain King is ready to go. Water Elemental is here. And what will be knocking on the door? Archmage Farseer. Farseer does have double healing salves. As well, one for the Death Knight, one for that Farseer, and here we go, Stormbolt, and now the Death Knight in a little bit of trouble, almost got us around here. That would have been really, really bad news, as we see a Death Coil now come in, Peasants now trying to come in, and there is a new Stormbolt Militia coming in, and Ted going to be losing his, oh wow, level tw or at 22 hit points, it will get taken down here. Farseer now tries to run away, and it is going to have a really, really bad day. Mountain King, does it have enough for a Stormbolt? Yes, it does. And here is the surround. Fly will end up losing its Farseer in just a moment. And now feeding more experience with those Spirit Wolves as well, as the Skeletal Minions will go down and fly in a bit of trouble. Or sorry, yeah, fly in a bit of trouble, feeding up a whole bunch of experience with not much to show for it. Skeletal Minions not getting taken down. As you can see, this low hit point peasant trying to run away, unable to do exactly that as the Skeletal Minion. Is it going to be able to escape? It looks like it will be able to. As the Death Knight Stormbolt Ted now cut up against the side. This is going to be bad positioning. No, a little bit too late. Sandan unable to get a surround up against the trees as we now are going into an arcane tower. Skeletal Minions going after... Um, peasants, the peasants really need to start building something else. Yes, they are going to be building that town hall now, and it looks like they are going to be backing away. Skeletal Minions just dancing around the back here. It looks like fireballs will come in and rain down onto these units. One more fireball could be it, and yes, there it goes. Archmage still sitting at level 2, Mountain King still sitting at level 1. Farseer now opting to do a bit of creeping of his own. Is the Death Knight now going to appear in time? Yes, he will. And here we go. All right, Death Knight appears. Farseer trying to creep out alongside the Death Knight. Will not be able to get to level 2 all too quickly. No, the Farseer backing away. And with that, Ted may be able to get up to level 2. All right, also picking up a Tome of some sort there. No Overseer. Going up against some Skeletal Minions. Now it looks as though the Farseer engaging against the Mountain King. Death Knight needs to back out of there as quickly as possible. Null Overseer looks like it will get taken down. And now Wanda Mana Stealing. Which should be a very nice item for Ted and Fly. 
Farseer seeing that level 1 now counterattacking against all of these footmen here. Taking a little bit of run damage there as the f spirit or the feral spirits are now trying to run away. Farseer now getting off to the north again. Archmage now coming in. As the Crypt Fiends, Skeletal Minions, and a one low hit point footman does get taken down. Alright, what is going to be happening here? Mountain King, can we perhaps see the Wanda Manasuline? There is the Scroll of the Beast. A very, very nice use of the scroll early on to get in that extra little bit of damage. That's all it really takes. And now here we are, Death Coil. Um, no Wanda Manasuline has been used just quite yet. Mountain King does have a second. Nope does not have a second um, Stormbolt in him left any longer as now we see that the Archmage is down to 300 some odd hit points. Uh, Alright, Spirit Wolves have been resummoned. The Great Hall looks like it will be forced to get cancelled here as the level 2 Water Elementals are going to be knocking at the Great Hall. Great Hall does get cancelled and now the Archmage sitting at 232 hit points. Is it going to be enough? Death Coil sitting at level 1. Is it going to... No, not going to come in in time. Level 1 of uh, Footman both getting taken down there. And now they are all teleporting back. Mountain King was able to slip away. And Yumiko and Samdon are in still a bit of trouble. As, as Grunts are now regrouping. Are we going to see a new town hall or a new Great Hall being established? It does not look like it. As the Death Knight now trying to get to level 3. Alright, level 3 Rogue Wizard. We should see a tomb or a tome being left behind here in just a moment. I believe it's a tome. Unless it's been a while. Yeah, Tome of Agility plus 2 could have been a very, very nice Tome of Experience. As Ted now pushing his way through the north here. Alright, Mountain King sitting at level 2. Stormbolt coming off on the Farseer. Farseer may get surrounded. Oh, the Spirit Wolves purposely um, positioning themselves so that they can do a little bit of a Congo line and run away. Spirit, The Farseer does have the speed rune now. So that speed bonus, max movement speed. And we will see what will be happening next. Alright, Samdan does have some sentry wards. So does Yumiko. Yumiko spots Samdan sentry wards and vice versa most likely. Uh, are they? Do they spot each other's? No, I guess they not. All right, so they do not spot each other's here as now the Archmage is going to be going in for a little bit of an engagement. Farseer now getting some easy shots off. Lich is now out by Ted. Ted perhaps going to be getting off some Frost Novas for, for some chasing onto some slow-moving units. And we also have that Torrin Chieftain out. Here we go. What will be happening next? Spirit Wolves, Blood Mage, Archmage, Blood Mage combination coming in from Samdan. Does that mean Yumiko will be... Going for the Paladin Mountain King combination? Not exactly sure as both sides are still going at it. Torin Chieftain sitting at level 1. I believe has a Shockwave or perhaps a Stomp. This Creep Camp will get taken out here. But we could have a little bit of a, a Creep Jack here. Yes, Mountain King now trying to engage. However, the Lich and the Death Knight do show up in time to protect this poor, poor Torin Chieftain from getting hit in the back. Alright, Feral Spirits now chasing after some Footmen. We could perhaps see a little bit more creeping here in just a moment as Yumiko and Samdan are playing a much more defensive game. Archmage sitting at level 3, Blood Mage sitting at level 1 as the Feral Spirits are going to be backing away. Crypt Fiends leading the charge, Torn Chieftain perhaps retreating a little bit too far back. They are looking for more opportunities to creep now on this map. And the problem was that Samdan and Yumiko spent their early portions of their game creeping out their difficult and their safest creep camps. And now it really feels like Ted and Fly may be able to come back into this just be or and, and stay in this just because they are able to creep up a little bit more. Now, important to note, the Town Hall, we are at tier, um, tier 1 upkeep or low upkeep. Meaning that instead of 20 gold a minute, it is down, or 20 gold a second, it is now down to 14. So it is only a 40% increase in overall resources as opposed to 100% over, overall um, for at least one of these teams. All right, we can see that the Arcane Towers are now being established here in the center portion of the map. Skeletal minions do spot those towers. Meanwhile, Death Knight sitting at level 3, Lich sitting at level 1, now making their way down perhaps to try to take down these uh, very, very high-end creep camps. 
Farseer now opting to pull away. And oh, this might be bad. This could be very, very bad. As the Torin Chieftain is going to try to go in for a bit of an engagement here. Blood Mage most likely with Siphon Mana. Mountain King sitting at level 2. Not quite level 3. As the fight should be coming in. All right. Footmen now making their way in. Perhaps going to try to take down some of these units here. As the Militia of Yumiko are all being called in. What is going on? That is going to be a whole bunch of peasants. As Is Yumiko really going to try to wall in his opponent? He may actually try to attempt to wall in his opponent here, making it very difficult to um, pull out. This is an unorthodox strategy in every sense of the word here, being just building outside here and a lumber mill now being added as well. What is going on as the peasants now just still wandering around here? What are they going to be doing next? All right, raiders are in position. Um, units caught in transit. And this is going to be a very, very tight position. All of these units not going to be able to rejoin up with the rest of their army. And B, Fly, and Ted are pretty much fighting split forces as these units are very, very far down in here. Mountain King with a nice thunderclap coming in. Scroll of Protection. The shop really benefiting Ted and Fly now. Both sides still fighting it out. And there in comes a shockwave still as the peasants are now trying to join in on more attacks still. Grunt still getting killed as they're trying to make their way in as Fly now loses a raider. Level 3 on a Mountain King. And now loses also another Spirit Walker. Mountain King needs to perhaps get off a little bit more mana. Are we going to get off some more Siphon here as the Death Knight now uses a Scroll of Town Portal to get away. Torin Chieftain is going to get taken down. Is he going to use a Scroll Town Portal? Yes, he will. And this was a beautiful, beautiful move by Yumiko and Samdan as they were able to creep out this get a very, very high advantage. They're going to be able to creep out this Ogre Lord as well since they have actually scouting buildings here protecting themselves. All right, the Ogre Lords are going to get taken down in just a second. There you go. Siphon mana taking away all the mana from that Ogre Magi. Perhaps the Troll Shadow Priest and the Troll High Priest will lose some mana as well. Or even the Null Warden. Level 3 now on the Blood Mage. As Yumiko is going to be able to set up an expansion of his own if he decides to. Alright, this is going to be a huge, huge turnaround. And one thing to note. Oh, there's actually a, a small path here? Yes, there is actually a small path in between these bushes here. That go into the back of the base of a fly so we'll see if that perhaps will be used spirit walkers now on the move do the spellbreakers perhaps have control magic staff of teleportation now being utilized as well mountain king now um, back in the front of this army double scrolls of healing and what will be happening next stormbolt now onto that farseer farseer taking a long distance damage mountain king getting in the front are we going to see perhaps a thunderclap a thunderclap could be coming in but the destroyer is now in the air and now down goes the farseer already all right mountain king in a bit of trouble scroll of town portal is it going to be utilized there it is there's the scroll of town portal siphon the mana away and the scroll of town portal coming in from samdan both sides trying to regroup themselves it looks like it will be just in time as the torrent chieftain um now gonna go ahead and take down these scout towers all right, Riflemen looking to creep out. Finally, their own starting creep camps. Paladin perhaps would benefit from um, some tomes of experience there. As we are seeing, I believe a Mountain King pick up a Clarity Potion. Should be using that up in just a moment here. All right, so Fly and Fly and Ted now making his way over off to the top left. Both sides, Holy Light coming into play. It looks as though the Paladin is still sitting at level 1. Blood Mage now sitting at level 3, able to siphon some mana off very quickly into that Paladin. And now that Paladin enjoying that mana battery strategy as that Archmage is now going to be leading the army. Are we perhaps going to see another another build from last time? Samdan now leading the way here. It pretty much knows that there is no creeping going on. And now just going to be continuing to making, making their way off to the north. Riflemen are upgraded 1-0. Sorceress are only at initiate training. Spellbreakers now leading the way, and this could be bad. It depends on when they wake up these creeps and when they are spotted. And here we go. Here's the engagement. Staff of teleportation now coming in on that spellbreaker. And now there's a storm bolt off on that raider. All right. Torn Chieftain, both sides looking to fight in. Siphon mana away from that. Uh, one Lich there. Lich getting stuck with the rest of his army, losing a lot of mana down, down to 130. And now also the Ted's Crypt Lord looks like it will get taken down. Both sides still fighting out. Another Thunderclap coming into play. 
the Crypt Lord, unable to get off an Impale since there is no mana on that Crypt Lord. Torrent Chieftain now pretty much out of mana as it gets taken down. Torrent Chieftain goes down. Frost Nova on the Paladin as the Paladin uses Divine Shield. Both sides still fighting it up here as we see another scroll of Town Portal come into play. Crypt Lord now goes down and now the Raider will get taken down as well. Coming back, Torin Chieftain has been resurrected. Farseer now looking to come back. And it looks like Samdan is going to benefit from the early retreat, the necessary retreat, by creeping out some more. Paladin going to get very close to level 3. Perrupt of Vitality, uh, making that Paladin even more deadly as it gains 150 hit points. No, don't leave behind an actual item. Ugh. All right, okay, it looks as though the Blood Mage is going to be picking those things up. Um, yes, going to be reading some books, and then we also see the Hood of Agility, or a Hood of Cunning, Agility plus Intelligence. Spellbreakers now making their way in, going to go ahead and finish off all these Renegade Wizards, Boots of Quel'Thalas. Um, I guess decent enough on a Paladin, and giving in about 12% more hit points, or effective hit points, as the Destroyers are now in the air. Staff of Teleportation now coming in, Mountain King does not have um, an orb of fire unable to attack the air there as both sides are still fighting it out. Rifleman coming in over here. You can see one arcane tower. We are at four bases to three right now as the destroyers are fully or are fully upgraded in terms of attack 3-0. Add in the Kodo Beast aura, the Torin Chieftain aura, and that is a very, very fast attacking army. All right, it looks as though Yumiko and Samdan will be grouping together here in just a moment. Priests are only at initiate training still. All right, the Blood Mage getting very close to maximum mana. Should be able to funnel that off to the another hero momentarily or perhaps even give it to a Priest to try to generate some more hit points. Destroyers now making their way over and it looks like Yumiko may end up actually losing this Arcane Tower and perhaps losing some of these peasants here. The peasants now trying to do a bit of mining, and the destroyers are now backing away as an engagement. Looks like it will be happening sometime soon. Spellbreakers, grunts, raiders. Raiders now caught in, tr in transit once again. Are we going to see a slow? Yes, a slow now on that raider. One poor raider getting taken out. Nope, not taken out. Spoke too soon, and here we go. Here's the next engagement. Finally, there's the Thunderclap. No Blizzard to follow it up. There's a Siphon Mana Shockwave in Pale. And level 4 now on the Mountain King. Mountain King gets off another Thunderclap. Both sides still fighting it out. Rifleman attacking pretty much in unison. Focusing down units. Uh, Blood Mage now just standing still. Another Thunderclap as the Thunderclaps have really been causing a lot of problems. Another Siphon Mana. Crypt Lord now out of mana there. Torin Chieftain has a little bit of mana as a Stormbolt does hit him. Death Coil keeps the Crypt Lord alive. Spellbreakers, Riflemen, I cannot describe what's happening all too quickly as we now we see Siege Engines are, have arrived to the party with their anti-air attack. Mountain King now enjoying a little bit more mana once again. Perhaps going to get off another Stormbolt. There's a Holy Light. There's a Stormbolt Paladin able to keep him alive. Mountain King now forced to use a scroll of Town Portal in order to get away. And Samnon now going to be teleporting back as well. And I don't believe... What I saw, that engagement was pretty much favoring Yumiko and Samdan every step of the way. But they backed out just in time before it got a little bit too dicey. And things went from bad to worse. Alright, here we go. Mountain King does have, I believe, a scroll of healing. We might see a scroll of regeneration come in. And now the building's Ted now looking to put pressure here. The destroyers are going to go after all of these peasants. This one base may get taken out. But this is going to be a bad engagement once more as Ted pretty much doesn't have any real sign or real room to retreat. Siege engines joining in on the fight. Are they going to be going after those um, destroyers? It looks like it as the Crypt Lord taking in a lot of damage. And what will we be having next? All right, are we going to see a Stormbolt Mountain King Paladin now getting off a Holy Light? Blood Mage needs to get off some more Siphon Manos Rifleman Blood Mage Paladin and the units are retreating again. The Siege Engine is not really helping as we do see a Frost Nova hitting across Yumiko's units. 
All right, Thunderclap coming in. Mountain King now trying to back away. And it really feels like Fly and Ted have the advantage once again. Siphon Mana back into that Mountain King. Mountain King going after an, some other heroes. There's another Thunderclap again. Another Death Coil. Both sides still trying to uh, stay alive here. As we now see level 5 on the Archmage. Archmage, Scroll of Healing being utilized for all of those riflemen and what is going to be happening here all those units are getting focused down relatively quickly as the destroyers there's another thunderclap coming in slowing all those units crypt lord falls at level two and both sides still fighting it out all right it looks as though a couple crypt fiends may fall as well spellbreakers may fall blood mage still in the center of it all frost nova taking down another scroll of healing and the scrolls of healing are neutralizing the impale and the Shockwave, and the Frost Nova. All right, so those Riflemen uh, are long overdue on life, having a, having a lot of life just because they've stuck around. And now the Mountain King sitting at level 5. Will it be able to get off another Stormbolt? No, stuck behind a Siege Engine. And will it be able to perhaps hit... Uh, Makoto Beast, no, decides not to, and here we go, Siege Engine now back over here, they're going to get ensnared, feeding more experience into Ted, it looks like those Siege Engines will fall, and that's going to be a problem, two more Siege Engines still have arrived, we'll see what will be happening, still one Ghoul now finishing that off, as units are in full retreat, one Siege Engine going up against the Destroyer here, it looks as though Samdan will end up losing his Siege Engine, but um, are we going to perhaps see any more losses? More Siege Engines coming in. Uh, Torin Chieftain once again burning a Shockwave just to not give any more additional mana. It looks as though the Kodo Beast may get fallen. Yes, it does fall. Level 5 now on the Blood Mage. Staff of Teleportation. And Paladin arrives. And a Paladin brings in another Scroll of Healing. Scrolls of Healing just constantly healing all throughout this game. I have never seen Staff of Teleportation used so readily by human players ever. So far, Mountain or Torrent Chieftain now continuing to battle it out here. Mountain King still staying alive, having plenty of mana still. We could see another, uh, what, Thunderclap. There we go. Another Stormbolt could be coming in as well. As that Mountain King has pretty much endless, endless mana. Uh, choosing to take it from the Lich, the Death Knight, the Torrent Chieftain, or the Farseer. As the Crypt Lord at level 2 once again falls. All right, Yumiko, there's a Stormbolt on to one very, very unlucky Crypt Fiend. Units are going to try to re-engage once more. It looks as though the Great Hall will fall here, and I believe Fly and Ted will be giving the GG in just a moment. Things are just not going well at all. As you can see, the, the hero advantage simply too much now. Staff of Teleportation being used so readily and so easily to buy Scrolls of Healing Blood Mage, now sitting at level 5, should be able to give even more. All right, Paladin is in trouble. Is it going to be able to get away? Holy Light, and well, Scrolls, oh my gosh, Chain, Chain, uh, not, or what, Spirit Link, not Chain Wave. More units still coming back in. All right, it looks like pressure now finally happening. Peasants now trying to run all the way back. Peasants are going to get taken down here. That walk of shame all the way back home. It looks as though the Voodoo Lounge may get taken down. But no, the engagement going to be coming in from the back. Torrent Chieftain leading the way. The Torrent Chieftain has a potion of mana. As the Mountain King doesn't need a potion of mana at all. There you go. There's a Storm Bolt. There's a Thunderclap could be coming in. There you go. The Torrent Chieftain scroll a Town Portal away just in time. As Siphon Mana now breaking again. Where did that Town Portal go? Torrent Chieftain now back at home. And we have a little bit of a split army. Crip Lord may get stuck again as the Paladin. Wow. This, what? What was that? Devour Magic. Yes, Devour Magic on those Destroyers still working. Mortar teams now working down on the town as we see a scroll of Town Portal in order, in order to get away, I believe. Yes, the army uh, Town Portaled over here instead. And now we need to see some Obsidian Statues to actually heal up the Torn Chieftain. Undead army off over here. And good game. There it is. So Ted says GG. And we are now tied up at one game apiece in this series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game two in this series. Um, there will be game th there will be game three. I will be casting that tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.